So, hey, we are here today to talk about the birth of Athena. And if you've never heard this story, prepare yourself because some crazy shit is about to go down. So one day, Zeus is sitting, chilling on his throne, and he looks at his watch and sees that it's 8 o'clock and says to himself, Hey, it is 8 o'clock. Time to go cheat on my wife. So he goes and bangs this one chick whose name I don't remember because she's not important. And uh, she, you know, conceives a child. So then Zeus receives a prophecy that, hey, the child is going to be wiser than you. He's going to be smarter and everything. So Zeus, so Zeus is just like, damn, I messed up. So the logical conclusion that he comes to is I'm going to eat the mother and the child. So what he does is he, pe- he picks up the chick that he just banged and he swallows her whole. I'm not playing people. This is how it went down. So then, presumably, years later, Zeus is chilling on his throne. He looks at his watch and sees that it's 7 o'clock. And then he says to himself, Oh, damn, I gotta go cheat on my wife in an hour. And then he suddenly has a headache. But not like a normal headache. He has like a migraine of a headache. Like his head is like splitting open. Anyway, so he's like, ah, screams to himself. And then everybody gathers around to see what the hell he's crying about. And then he's just like, ah, my head hurt. I got a migraine. Somebody help me. But I don't know I mean, nobody can because, you know, it's a headache. What you going to do about it? So anyway, Zeus comes up with a brilliant solution. He says to his son, Ares, probably. He's like, Ares, come here, boy. And then Ares is just like, yeah, what's up, dad? And Zeus is just like, you see that axe over there? Come here and literally smack me on the head until you split my head open. And then Ares is just like, yeah okay so that's literally what they do Ares takes an axe literally swings it at his father's head and his father's head busts open now you might think that this is pretty insane and you'd be right but the reason why his head was hurting is because Athena was chilling up there why was Athena chilling up in Zeus's brain I don't know that's what you want to do anyway regardless so Athena pops out and you might think well isn't she naked or like a child no for one she's fully grown that's one second of all she's not even naked she's wearing full armor where she got that armor we don't know because this is ancient mythology and uh, i don't know consistency is not something that they did anyway you might be thinking is this the end of the story well no because it gets even more insane hera zeus's you know sister wife says to herself damn i'm angry as shit i'm filled with rage because zeus is out here cheating so she gets so angry at zeus that she literally conceives a child now you might be thinking who did she bang i'll tell you she didn't bang nobody she conceived the child literally from being so angry at him i'm being serious right here she impregnated herself by being so angry at her husband that's some insane shit. Well, anyway, nine, po- nine months later, Hephaestus popped out. And uh, we'll talk about Hephaestus in another date because uh, his story is also insane. But for now, that's it. So now you know the story of how Zeus's head got pregnant. Hope you enjoyed.